Welcome to Quick Bites, QI World News, a platform where truth, honesty and transparency is manifested. Let's take a look at today's news. Zhengzhou City, the home of one of the world's biggest iPhone factories, has been locked down by the Chinese government as a result of strict coronavirus measures imposed by the United States. For seven days, lockdown has been in place since Wednesday. As a result of the flow, Apple's new iPhone 14, which is manufactured at Foxconn's plant within the city, could be affected. Chinese people and corporations have been grappling with President Xi Jinping's inflexibility. A Saudi intelligence report shared with the United States indicated that Iran would target Saudi Arabian targets. This led the Wall Street Journal to report that the United States is on high alert. Several officials from both countries told the journal that they were concerned about attacks coming. In addition to Saudi Arabia, Iran is also planning attacks on Abel, Iraq, where U.S. troops are located. According to Saudi officials, the attacks are intended to disrupt. Elon Musk says Twitter will charge $8 monthly for a blue check mark to show a verified account. It was essential to defeat spam and scam after a $44 billion takeover of the social media site, Musk said, referring to changes. There is currently a blue tick next to a username normally reserved for high-profile figures. Critics claim the move could make it more difficult to identify reliable sources. What exactly is Vine? Elon Musk's plan to bring short videos back to Twitter? It is believed that Elon Musk's vision for Twitter includes bringing back Vine, the short video app that was shut down in 2016. Elon Musk might bring it back as a part of his visions for Twitter. According to Axios, Twitter's new chief tweet instructed engineers to work on a reboot that could be ready by the end of this year. The platform was founded by Dom Hoffman, Rose Hosipow, and Colin Kroll in 2012 and later acquired by Twitter. For a hearing on November 14, the Supreme Court has set up a petition calling for a retired judge to oversee a probe into the Morbi Bridge collapse in Gujarat, which killed at least 134 people. Chief Justice of India, Yuyu Lalit, heard the matter on Tuesday. In the public interest litigation petition, Vishal Tiwari argued that the accident was a testament to government authorities' negligence and utter failure. In order to win more business from Apple Inc., Tata Group plans to hire tens of thousands of workers as its electronic factory in Tamil Nadu that makes iPhone components. There are about 5,000 women employed by this plant in September at the industrial town of Hosur, which is spread over more than 500 acres in Tamil Nadu. Indigenous tribal communities were among the hiring. The people said declining to be named because staffing plans aren't public. In the next 18 to 24 months, the plant plans to hire 45,000 women workers as the new production lines are set up. Follow us on our social media platforms and log in to kvive.in, prakashtv.in and unathinews.in. That's all of the news for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.